all right guys so this time we got another cantilever beam whose shear force and bending moment diagram is going to be drawn in this video okay my annotation upward will be positive downward will be negative okay it does not matter now remember we have different sections like section at point a b c and d and in order to draw the shear force diagram okay first i'm going to draw the shear force diagram okay shear force diagram okay all right now to draw a shear force diagram we need the uh, forces or you can say the shear force at each section of the beam okay now let's let me just determine shear force at let's say at the free end that is point a okay and there we have only one force that is vertical this is 35 kilonewton okay and that is actually represented downward in the diagram so i'm gonna take that negative so that's 35 kilonewton so simple okay now another force will be determined at point b so shear force at point b however shear force at point b can be taken differently as you can see at the right hand side of point b or section b we have udl or uniformly distributed load this is udl which is 20 kilonewton per meter okay now that's why we are going to take udl first and then exactly at point b okay so let's take uh, point b but the right hand side i'm, I'm going to write there okay r so that is actually the same as minus 35 because shear force is actually the summation of vertical forces okay so at point b we also consider the force or load which is acting at point a so that's minus 35 also the udl which is actually 20 but this is per meter okay and the distance which is actually 5 meters so times 5 you can also just write that in this form so now the shear force at point b can be actually minus 135 kilonewton okay now exactly at point b shear force at point b that is actually minus 35 which is at point a minus this load which is actually this udl and then minus the point load at point b or at section b which is 40 kilonewton if you do some maths here you're gonna get 175 kilonewton at point b now shear force at point c okay shear force at point c tell b we have minus 135 so i'm gonna take date one why i'm taking this because we don't want to repeat okay the the same process for each section like uh we're gonna consider at a then b and c and so on so that's little bit complicated okay till point b we have already calculated date which is 175 kilonewton so i'm gonna take date and at point c we have another load which is minus 30 kilonewton okay that is actually minus 205 kilonewton that's simple okay the remaining point which is actually d and d is the support so it's gonna um, just take all the load and that is going to be the same okay at d so at d point we're gonna take the same shear force which is acting at point c so this data is actually enough to draw the shear force diagram okay let me just draw the shear force diagram i actually don't have the scale and here i'm going to draw a reference beam let's say this is just a reference beam okay the the reference uh is going to help me if there is positive value so i'm going to go up and in case of negative value i'm going to go down okay so simple now <coughs> at point a we have minus 35 i'm not doing this with scale i'm just going to draw a simple line which is representing uh, a, a value actually of 35 okay you can also put minus over there does not matter okay now at point uh, b actually this is let me just annotate you know, that again a this one is b this one is c this one is d at point b right there we have 135 so 35 is there and 100 let's say this is up to 135 this is not uh, according to scale okay and we don't have the graph so i'm going to do this just the same thing okay it means that the distance from that reference till here is 35 units okay it is force we are not 
just representing that with distance but I'm just assuming okay the video okay now another uh, thing which we have actually at point uh, where is it at point B and there is exact, exactly at point B 175 okay so let me just change my color okay this is 135 at right hand side and we have another video of minus 40 and let's say this is up to minus 40 so we have 175 okay now at point C we actually have 205 okay so let's say till this point we have 205 and at point B again D again we have actually the same video which is tell this one and that is minus 205 now we're gonna join them in order to get the exact videos or maybe you can say the exact diagram okay so actually as you can see from point A to B we have UDL okay so we're gonna join these points with one degree line because this is shear force diagram in case of bending moment diagram we are going to just join them uh, with actually you can say a two degree parabolic line so this is a one degree line so let's just do it straight away like that okay now this is gonna go come downward and actually from point b to c there we have point loads so we're gonna join a zero degree line there and here we have point load because this is point load at point D we have point load so let's join them this way so this is actually our uh, you can say shear force diagram let me just highlight that so you can see it this is the shear force diagram okay you can write it shear force diagram and this is actually negative diagram okay negative shear force now let's just calculate the bending moment okay at each point so we can draw the bending moment diagram okay so let's say bmd let me just calculate bending moment at any point maybe at point a okay so at point a okay at point a we have actually uh, minus 35 minus 35 and the distance which is actually from a to a and that is zero so bending moment at point A that must be 0 kilonewton meter. Okay, kilonewton is for the load or force, meter is for the distance which is 0. Because moment is actually the force or load times the vertical distance, you can say or perpendicular distance. Okay, so at point A we have that 0 thing over there. Okay, now at point, uh, let me say, bending moment at point B I'm going to take B point which is over there and there we have minus 35 times the distance till B which is 5 then we have uh, 20 kilonewton per meter UDL let me just break at them and minus 20 but that is per meter so we're gonna convert that into point load by multiplying that with the same span which is 5 and now the distance from the UDL till point B because we are taking the moment at B we have converted that into point load so that's gonna act at the center okay which which means that's gonna act at uh, um, exactly at you can say 5 by 2 okay so the distance will be taken half of the 5 and that is 2.5 okay so times 2.5 and if you just calculate it, that's gonna be minus actually for two maybe five kilonewton meter. You can con confirm that by using your calculator. Okay, so we have actually two points A and B. Now we're gonna determine uh, the uh, moment at point C. Okay, B has already been done. Okay, you can also take here the the force which is at B, but by multiplying that with 0 because the distance from B to B is 0 that's why we are not taking the force at B because we already know that the distance from B to B is 0 so that's gonna be 0 if you multiply 40 with 0 so simple okay now let's just determine the uh, moment 
or you can say bending moment at point C. Okay, this is C. So, we have to multiply that with 35 times the distance minus 35 times the distance. The distance from A to C that is 5 plus 3. So, which is 8 minus the force which is UDL that is 20, but that is per meter and the distance is 5. Okay. So, we have converted that into a point load. Now, distance from that point load till point C is going to be different, which is actually 2.5 plus 3. Okay. That is 5.5. So, times 5.5. Now, we have another point load which is at B. So, minus 40 times the distance from B to C that is actually 3 units. So, times 3. Okay. That has been done. We are not taking the load at C because if you take that and then you are going to multiply that with 0. So, let us just take. Okay. No problem. Force at C that is 30. Now, the distance from C to C that is 0. So, times 0. That is why I am not multiplying, I am not taking this load because we already know that that is going to be 0 at the end. Okay. So, just do some multiply, uh, multiplication, addition, uh, subtraction, you are going to get actually maybe negative 830 kilonewton meter. This value can be different, you can check this with uh, calculator, no problem, okay? but the process is the same. Now, the, the only point which we are missing here is point D. So, let us just determine the, you can say, uh, moment at point D. Okay. So, I have another page, let us say, moment or bend moment at point D. Okay. So, let us just remove that, so you can see what is point D over there. Okay. Now, at point D, we have moment, uh, sorry, force at point A, it is minus 35 times distance which is 5, 3 and 2 and it is 10 okay. minus this UDL which is 20 times 5 to convert that into a point load. Now, the distance from the center will be taken which is 2.5 plus 3 plus 2 that is actually 7.5. Okay. And minus uh, the force at B which is minus 40 times the distance which is 3 and 2, so 5. Now, the force at C that is minus 30 times the distance from C to D and that is 2. So, I, I, I guess we do not have another value here. Just do some maths here, you are going to get the value is maybe uh, 1360, maybe 1350, I am not sure, kilonewton meter. Okay. Now, let us just draw the uh, bending moment diagram. Okay. I am just going to have some uh, room here, so we can draw the uh, diagram easily. Okay. Okay. So, the bending moment diagram, let us say I have reference, let us say this is the beam and we have points which is A, there we have B, this one is C, this one is D. Now, the, the moment at point A, okay, let us just look for that. Oops, we have that on the same page. At point A, we have 0. At point B, okay, let me just write them, okay. At point A, we have 0. At point B, we have uh, minus 4 to 5. At point C, we have minus 830 and at point D, we already know that one, okay, this one, okay. So, let us just remove that page now. So, at point A, that is 0. So, that is just a point, no problem. At point B, minus 425. So, let us say this is minus 425. This is just a, 
you can say a force uh, uh, you can say a moment representation okay now at point c we have like double update like this one and at point d we have 1360 which may be up to this okay so this is minus 830 this one is 1360 okay now how do we join these ends we're gonna look into the diagram okay as you can see we have a bindu moment diagram here so there can be and we have the udl so we're gonna draw a two degree parabola okay and here we have point load between c or you can say at point b and c so we're gonna do that straight away like that a one degree line you can say this is two degree this is one degree now here we have point load again so let's just join them and in order to highlight date i'm going to use this marker so we can see date better this is actually negative moment diagram minimum moment diagram okay so simple this is how we can just uh, draw the shear force and bend a moment diagram. See you in the next video.